What's up guys? Um, we're going to play Daylight. Haven't decided if this is a good idea or not yet. Because uh, what I have played of it absolutely scared the shit out of me. So, uh, this should be fun. But, um, let's go over that quickly. So I started playing it, but I'm going to start again from the beginning. But, um, I was going to do Outlast, but I was an idiot. And while I was, uh, playing the game and I closed the application to start it over uh, to start recording and uh, deleted it by accident so while that's re-downloading I'm going to play some Daylight and we'll probably do Outlast after we've done Daylight um, so yeah I don't know if you guys have played it or you've heard of it or whatever but it's basically a horror game uh, based around like ghosty witchy things I haven't played much of it um, I don't really know much about the backstory but what I have played of it, I played in 3D the first time round, round uh, a mate's house, and um, it scared the crap out of me. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Controller stuff here. Yeah, that's all fine. When you see this icon, you're saving. Yeah. Let's go, let's do it. Scared by a spider. If you're scared by a spider, you're not going to do very well for the rest of the game. Love how he refers to the phone as a machine and it's in her hand. Like she doesn't know. He doesn't know what it is, obviously. It's been some time now. This place has been waiting for your arrival. Gather up everything you can. The memories contained within these walls are waiting to be found. Sarah, listen to me. Must succeed. Must succeed. It's always nice to hear. So basically, we've got to pick up these little notes here. Sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're red. Uh, in order to proceed through to the levels. So I'll read them out because uh, people don't like reading, and I don't really like reading, but I'll read them out. Prisoner 52 seems to be experiencing vi visions of shadow people. Doctors on site keep trying conventional therapies, but I believe we need to start thinking about new procedures that push what we've come up with to date. Okay. This game can be a bit laggy, by the way. It's only a very small game, um, and it's not built to be kind of like perfect or anything. So, like, the textures on the walls and stuff are very limited. Another note here. New Kipling Herald. Mid-Island Penitentiary has recently announced that name of its new head physician, Dr. Walter Mercer, known as a leader in both smallpox and tuberculosis research. The city of New Kipling has expressed its excitement in having such a talented, passionate recruit on board and ready to do battle for the health of its citizens. So we're basically in a, an old hospital, I guess. I think that's what we're in. That's what I've always had the impression that we're in. Close sticks there. The light to find the answers to tell you what when you um, find ghost stick bags like this, and there's loads of them, um, pick up as many, I think you can have four at a time, but um, they you have to keep pressing it until it says that you've run out of space in however you're carrying it. So when you come up with a battle that, press it four times or however many times, it's until it says your inventory for glow sticks is full. Just have an explore, what's this one? Picture of a dead cow, lovely. Run. That's a nice, nice little uh, note for us there. So we'll run. The running on this game, what I've played of it, the running on this game is actually fucking terrible. You have to like push the stick down on your controller, and it just does, it's not like it makes the character uncontrollable to use. Really. Make sure it's up on that. So when your inventory's full, it says infantry full, you have too many ghost sticks. 
and then we need to crack open a glow stick in order to open that door because apparently opening glow sticks opens up doors these days. I'm just going to go back and grab another one to replace that with four glow sticks. So when we're on the lookout, we've got to look out for flares, glow sticks and little pieces of paper. If you look in the uh, bottom right hand side, it says um, remnants uh, with a little kind of zero out of six on a little piece of paper. That's how many glow that's how many uh, pieces of paper you've got to find for each level. When you've got a certain amount to find, it'll be there. And these little glowy things here, they're kind of objects that are interactable. There's another one here. Patient aged 10 months old has been readmitted by her foster parent due to odd and frightening incidents that left shortly that occurred shortly after she left the hospital. Oh my God. Basically, what I've played in this game just seems like a massive maze. Oh, hello. Them footsteps, by the way, they are your footsteps. That's not doesn't mean anyone's following you. Apparently you still in UV paint or some shit like that. Okay, so there's another note there. Let's go through this door first. If you look on the uh just put this up quickly, if you look on the phone, um when you go zoom in, zoom in like that. The little kind of crosses are where you've picked up notes from, so you can kind of see where you've been. So if we close that back up. Another note there. Adam, I think I saw that thing you were talking about the other day. I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't a person. It just stared at me and then it disappeared when I shined my light on it. Billy says. I was seeing shadows, but I know what I saw. Something is not right down here. I'm putting in a transfer request, George. Nothing else down here. Keep going down this way for now, so we'll see what we can do. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh. So when your phone messes up, it means there's something behind you. Just a warning there. <gasps> okay. Okay, so we need to go back to this room in a bit, that's the star room. Now that we've found it, I'll make that one a bit easier. Let's get a bow stick. Oh, shiny door. Patient aged seven years has been experiencing a fear of monsters in her room at night. A night shift nurse consoled the patient by reaffirming that it was only her imagination. The patient subsequently began exhibiting uncontrollable violence toward herself and staff members. The patient has been 
restrained and transported to solitary confinement. Patient unexpectedly died overnight. Body was discovered by the nurse this morning in preparation for electro electronic shock therapy. Body was transported to the morgue. Uh, cremation scheduled for this evening. No kin to notify. Poor kid. We think this is a kid's hospital. Oh, it's there. Hello. What's this? Miss Goodman gave patient a stuffed bear as a toy without permission from patient from patient's doctor. Miss Goodman has been thoroughly reprimanded and was resigned away from the children's ward until further notice. It's a bit of a large step to be taken for giving a kid a toy in it. Anybody there? Probably. Probably a son. Where is it? Whoa! Oh. Hello. Patient suffers from a hoarding problem, frequently hiding items she can get her hands on. Patient has been observed clutching objects and mumbling to herself in nonsense phrase describing described by the staff as disturbing. So we've got six notes now, that means we can go and find the gateway again. Just want to make sure there's nothing else here we've missed. I know there's somebody here. Before we go on. Oh, get some glow sticks. Good time. So this is where we were at the beginning, so I'll go back in now. I need to find some flares. Probably find the uh, locked door before we go in. There's a door that needs to be opened. Um, in another part. If we find that, it'll come up on the map so we can just go straight from getting whatever we need to get in the other part to finding. The door. 
So we know this little starry door is up here. Let's try this way. Can't run up here. Patient reported seeing shadowy figures in his room at night. Staff have been advised to indulge the patient in his delusions in order to avoid aggressive behaviour observed in patient 15. Patient remains in his room under mild observation. Okay. this locked door already. No. Patient 27C suffers from an obsession with mazes. Compulsive behaviour has Driven him to draw mazes all over his cell, having run out of space, the patient turned to himself, carving an elaborate maze into his own flesh, completely enveloping his chest, parts of his back, forearms, upper arms, upper thighs, and even parts of the buttocks and genitals. Patient restrained by a straitjacket and placed in solitary confinement. So that must be what the mazy thing is like that she's got going on on her arm. After being in here is all about. because a lot of it looks the same. Okay, there's that room. There's the locked room. Hello. That's where we can't be going right now. Let's put a little, if you see on the map, let's put a little green oh, padlock. So now we need to find our way back to the star and then back to the green room. Or the star, the locked room, I should say. Yeah. 
Type before. Be? It's like a flashback thing. I see you. sealed itself. Holy shit, right? Oh, glow sticks, let me. I'm gonna find one of them up. And uh, pick up another one. There we go. So we haven't got any pieces of paper that we need to find. We're gonna pick up anyway because it makes the ghost angry and that's always fun. Last night at approximately 7pm the power went off to this section of the facility due to the unfortunate time we were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department and he passed away in transit in the hallway behind the records room security door. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided not that non-maintenance staff should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarise yourself with the power switch's location within the records room stacks. Okie doke, Mr. Management. I want... We understand that it's difficult to make it outside on your 10 minute breaks, however, just because the record room is large and has high ceilings does not mean you can move things about to create a s satellite break room for smoking. We have caught several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them, on, stacking them precautiously and climbing over them to serve as a lookout. Be advised, this is not a gym, this is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated. Damn right, Mr. Management. <gasps> Hello? Miss Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating that she was extremely unhappy at work and in her personal life. Personal, blah, blah, blah. personal on site state, personnel on site state that she died from blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrist. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Pending a police investigation, Miss Daniels' body was trans transported to the morgue. This is eerily similar to the other instances. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, a piece of paper. 
Mid Island Hospital was one of the most locally influential and medically profound places in our city's history, yet few people knew how, how important his presence has been. From treating smallpox in the 1850s to contribu contributing to tur tuberculosis research in more recent years, the hospital, hospital has done much to benefit the citizens of New Kiplin, even in brief, if, if failed, attempt to as a blah, 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 attempt at reopening as a penitentiary helped to keep our citizens safe. Not that safe, apparently. What do you guys think of this game? Like, if you've played Outlast. Outlast is a fucking brilliant game. What do you guys think of it in comparison? I think it's quite similar, apart from the obvious storyline differences. There's nothing like... major. We need to find the electric switch. Oh, hello. That there'd be light and all that shit. I think it's back the other way, you know. You put in another glow stick up. Pick another one up there. It must be back here. I know it's back here. You have to like climb on stuff. Kipling sisters accused crime, 16 year old girl girl allowed to live admits guilt est commended to hang evil opposite open to deal with spread of disease that sounds foreign, don't know what language doesn't sound like it's written for English though oh hello Stop it! Stop it! Stop it now! Savage me, suffering. And for those who would seek no resource. What ails you, Sarah? While on nightly rounds, nurse monitoring noticed patient 90D standing in his room in an in, in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass. He screamed for help and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood and he was raving about faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary where the attending physician reported that he, was likely, that he will likely lose both eyes. The patient did not seem bothered by this recommending transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. Perhaps truth, barely cure, never simple. Oh, Trophy, hello. Right, I'm gonna leave this video there. Um, for part one of Daylight, we'll, we'll, we will join back up uh, in part two probably another half an hour video half an hour ish anyway uh, let me know what you're thinking of it so far um, it's taken a lot of build up for me so uh, yeah let me know what you think and um, we will carry on with it as soon as we can but until next time guys I hope you're enjoying it so far and stay classy gamers